against the Steves. <laughs> the Steves are out in full effect, that collision, but they didn't get as far as I think some people were anticipating a little bit. And we are going to be pulling up into game number one here. Roy Dittos. Don't be good. Yeah, so uh, I believe it is Cola as the Fault Roy uh, Goblin will be the Red Roy here. So we'll see how this goes, man. I imagine it's Ditto. The buzzword, you know, you hate to use it, but volatile. You gotta call it yeah, a spade no, it spade. Is. It is. You know, you, in some matchups, it's like, all right, you know, Roy's gonna have to really, you know, pick and choose his spots because he has to get so close to you in your wheelhouse that depending on what the character does, it can be really dangerous for him. Uh, in this case, it's like, all right, well, you're both gonna be in the danger zone at all times. No, and I agree. It's like there's two people on opposite sides of the room and they're pointing guns at each other. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, at some point, oh my god. <laughs> That was sick. <laughs> filthy, filthy play from these two. I mean, take a look at that back attack. It's gonna be enough to KO. I'm wondering if the yeah, I was a little suspect on that. I feel like he might have been able to survive a little bit longer, but it is Roy, you know, so it's hard to say. Yeah, that dash attack is strong as heck, man. So you're gonna have to be very careful. Because Goblin gonna try to, you know, right the ship here again. Has Cola in prime position uh, to take a stock here. Yeah, I don't like the new players coming out here. Poking a little bit down tilt, right? You always want to mix up those down tilts you have on field. Weird guard, but he didn't get the double jump. I thought he did. What's going on here? Everyone's making it back. All right, there we go. Up B will not be not enough just yet, but still good damage here for Goblin. Oh, back. Right. Falling there at the ledge is going to be all it takes to go ahead and take out the first stock of Cola. But we're going to see. I feel like Cola's playing pretty well right now. He's doing a good job of controlling the neutral, he's getting these good pokes on shield and dashing back when appropriate. And these guys are really feeling each other out, right? You can see how they're like trying to maximize the use of their movement instead of their attacks, trying yep. to go ahead and make those openings. So that's what the ditto is all about. It's a movement battle. Exactly, yeah. All right, there we go. Nair will catch the jump right there. Nice drop there from Cola. That is going to be a two stock to one lead for him in the moment and up big right now. So Goblin's going to have to put into overdrive here. All right, that goes to the back throw. Get that guaranteed damage. It's not gonna take KO'd anytime. Oh, he like, got hit by the sour spot of that man. I'm actually a little bit surprised. There we go. Nice job right there. Good jab from uh, Goblin. Just getting off the ledge right there. Trying to get his way, swing his way back into the, you know, the thick of things here. But slowly but surely, you know, Cola's starting to tear him apart. Beautiful. Once again, Blazer out of shield. Going ahead and getting that one down till. Oh, wow, I thought he was going to go for another down tilt there, trying to reset the scenario one more time. But, man, the amount of up he's out of shield you're going to be seeing in this set, you know? Like, yeah. it is, it's absolutely crazy because they're going to keep, like, jabbing and down tilting. You can just say, stop that, yeah. right? For, like, a firm 70% or something like that. It's time to stop. Yeah. It's like, please, put that to rest. Basically, call a flying shield pressure here. Good tech away from Goblin, knowing that if he te techs in. Techs in, that's it. Yeah, that GG's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get hit by that. Right, jab the back here will even things up here, but 119 on the tab. Goblin gonna have to keep this one close to the chest. Ooh. It's like looking in the mirror, man. Yeah, <laughs> JV2 coming out from Cola. Nice. No. Oh, man. Look how cool they look mirroring each other. I know. Weird. That is so sick. They're like. They're actually like maybe too close. <laughs> 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 I know everything that you're gonna do, but you know everything that I'm gonna do. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm looking right, at your controller. Like I remember when that, that whole thing about like, Xbox stands up to look at my controller. I remember that. Oh man, what a time. That's such a weird beef. Yeah, <laughs> that was such a, what an era. We're getting this, we're getting that mad about this. Like, come on, bro, yeah, what are we doing here? He's reading the DI off your controller. Like that, that's actually crazy good. There's a clause for this, excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty, Cola going up one game to Neil here. We're going to Town of City for the counter pick. Let's see how it shakes out here. Counter picking in a ditto must be so frustrating. Because it's like, alright, you're going to like the same stage as I like. So it's like, you know, I think, it's, like you said, it's going to be a matter of who's going to be more uh, crisp in your gameplay. So. Which, like, isn't to say that, you know, they don't matter. I feel like certain players do have affinities towards certain stages, and they do have another. Pluses and minuses. Oh, beautiful. See you. Yes, yes, yes. Perfectly timed on the counter there on the up beat. That's how you have to do it. Yeah, excellent stuff right there. From Cola, getting first blood here, now trying to add on more damage. They did a great job. Uh, again, it's so scary, man. Roy was thinking he gets sauced up so hard by his own combos. Wow, he actually made it all the way there. Another up B, and these guys are just like, they're taking turns wailing on each other, right? Like, this is as close as it's been so far in the last game. 
know, Cola Death kind of has an upper edge most of the time. But this time, it's a little bit closer. It's like Cola's able to hang, uh, or not Cola, but Goblin, rather, is more able to hang this time around. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> you almost on your drink there. Yeah, Perry was so good. Where's Perry, too? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know, right? Oh, man. They got three Despicable Me's? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They made how much money? Oh, man. There we go. Ooh, yep. gets a single hit in there, but not in a good position to get a follow-up. Nice. <laughs> There's two Roy's sitting in shield on top of each other. <laughs> Something in the beginning of like a math equation. Yeah. It's like, who's gonna bite first, dude? Again, right. nice. But he had the double jump. And right there, I think he could have, if he was quick enough, he might have been able to go out and get the counter. Um, but it's okay. You know. Yeah, Blazer, it does things. Yeah, there we go, man. The up B will take it right there. So Cola, once again, going up two stocks to one here. The Goblin knocking on the door of evening things up. The jab to the backer will be the equalizer. So we're back on even stocks here, Flambo. That's kind of how we expected this matchup to go. These two just kind of taking turns. And so far, it seems that Cola's pushing their head a little bit toward the end of this game, which yeah. is like, ah, if you're Goblin, you don't want him to sneak away with a 2-0 lead in the set. So that means making that reverse 3-0 going to be a lot of damage, but Cola's pushing into the corner, trying to end it right there with that downer on the two frame. Not going to quite connect there, but you can tell he's fishing for the final blow now. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, there's blood in the water right now, and a good platform layout, too, allowing Goblin to maybe, you know, sneak out there a little bit, uh, to further you know, to, cap, to cut off an option for Cola getting back to the ledge. Uh, yeah, that. yeah, there we go. It looked like he might have been jailed there no matter uh, what he did. If he take the place, if he take the way, I don't think he would have had enough room to like not get out of range of like Yeah, yeah I, I think it's like the uh, maybe if he takes away, he might live. <laughs> you know, he's getting hit, but like he yeah. might live depending on you know if he had enough damage or not before the hit. But, I mean, that's a, it's kind of a, a rough way to go. Four Koa Goblin, you're like, whew, all right. I got yeah. the 1-1 one, one dream Whoops. alive. Whoa. Whoa. Three, <laughs> two, one, Alrighty, folks. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, one here. Uh, we are getting into it here on, uh, on town in the uh, city once again. Oh, man. It looks like these two have played before. Uh, they did play at, like, a monthly where Cola won. Yeah, I imagine these two would like frequent maybe the same regional events. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, yeah. Cola being from Georgia, uh, Goblin being from uh, Central Florida, so. This is possible, something not unheard of. But. It's like, I got no problem. Ooh. With that. Oh! Oh, oh, you get the taxi cab, you get the. Uh, <laughs> 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 Uber? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think they have up. Ubers at Animal Crossing? Oh, man. A lot of damage. Like that, and they're playing back to back. Ooh, on to the Uber! Oh no! Uh -oh. Hey, I got scared. I got scared. Dude. Your Uber is here. You have five minutes. Oh! Wow. Nice. Wow, body bag. Man, Cola coming back with the response of a lifetime, dude. Yeah, man, listen, you see the tag dead on arrival. Uh, it does not matter how he gets, you know, further on in losing bracket. Uh, if you're in his way, he will eliminate you. But yes. that's not going to get dropped right there, so. You know, Cola was you know, getting, you know, getting the heat check, I guess. I just noticed that Goblin changed colors and it's messing me up right now. Yeah, I know. It's like... That alt is sick. I like the, uh, the dark purple one. is my favorite one, but, bro, I can't see. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's weird. It's dark as hell in here. <laughs> that's what that looks like. Goblin is living and dying by double-edged dance right now, and you just got, like, two or three of them to connect in a row, so... We're going to go ahead and take that. I mean, hey, if he's able to catch... Uh, Cola with the timing mix-ups, and that that could be the difference he needs to like make a little bit of a lead for himself. Yeah, no, listen, you see, like you said, the double edge dance has been great in helping him get off the stage, relieve pressure, add damage. Uh, that counter is going to provide uh, good space right here, though. I'll be bring it back. Oh, that's a lot of rage on Cola right now. Oh, wow, what a lucky Ooh. eye. That's a good trade. That's a good trade. A good, good trade. trade right there. Yeah, like you said, Goblin, excuse me, uh, Cola gonna go up in the rubber game here. It's not an option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not an option. <laughs> I know, he sounds so serious. Like, All right, right, take bro. it easy, bro. It's not that deep. All right, Elliwood Jr. <laughs> Calm down, bro. I'm about to call you by the government. Elliwood looking ass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. 
Alrighty, so Goblin sitting on a match point right now. Or excuse me, uh, Cola sitting on match point yeah. right now. Goblin sitting on his tournament life. One more loss and he is out at 30. Could be hit for him, man. You gotta square him up right now. Same, bro. Ooh, and I see he goes for the grab, tries to go for the up air, but attack on the platforms actually stop that. There we go. I like the reaction on the middle attack with the up air as well. Cola is so aggressive in a way that's like hard for me to explain because sometimes he, like, I always compare him to like, he just does stuff, you know, yeah. like, and if it works, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's why, like, they always say Roy Mains is swinging a ghost, right? Like, but, like, it's because a lot of the times I feel like people misinterpret it. Like, sometimes they are just swinging at Dustin, like, I've seen it. But there are times where it's just like they're going for these hard reads that, like, they just don't get it, and, and then it looks stupid. Yeah, that is exactly it. So, yeah, but all the plays out here, nice catch. Knowing that, you know, Goblin most likely is just going to jump out of an aerial. It's with the backer, but Goblin was in no time even if he picks up. And he's going to wait on the ledge. That's one way to, like, play around uh, that, like, respawn and tangibility, right? Like, it's like, I don't really want to try to, like, mix up a movement. I'm just going to go ahead to the ledge, plank a little bit, wait for your vulnerability to run out, and then try to get to the center stage. Right, so see me again. Goblin's just going to get the grab. Wow. Wow. Easy stuff. Wow. He had enough time to whip the neutral air and still get a punish. Oh! <laughs> oh, he didn't get the counter out in time. He was trying to figure out when he can time it to catch him on the way back, but couldn't quite get it. That could have been checkmate. Oh, he wanted that dodge in. <laughs> there you go. Nice break. catch. Yeah. yeah. He's got tech, too. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. I'll give it up. Uh, talk about efficient, man. <laughs> like people who go to college for four years and somehow leave at a match. I'm like, y'all wizards, bro. <laughs> Man, I studied at Hogwarts. Ooh. Oh, okay, bro. What? That was Excuse so me? That was so sick. Yeah, that was a little too saucy to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I need a nap. That Haitian bean puree. Wait, that's so spot. That's what we call it, man. That joint's good. All right, Cola going for the jugular here at Goblin. On his tournament stock right now and in the triple digits already. Oh, man. And I like the retaliation, picks an aggressive option off of the left and say, hey, I'm not out of this yet. And that could potentially, that could time it. Okay, I like that. You have two options, right? You can go out off stage and hit him, or you can try to time the counter to catch the up B. And I yep. think he just decided, you know what, I don't want to play that game. And you know what, Cola doesn't either. He said, you know what, 3-1. See ya, buddy. Yeah, man, there we go. <laughs> hey, three, oh, one no. set in the favor of Cola, the moist team kill. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. I know. But it's too wet. <laughs> it's too wet. Sopping. <laughs> Can't stand it. <laughs> Trace Leches yeah. again. Again, running around yeah. the back. <laughs> yeah, again, oh, great man. stuff there from Cola, man. Listen, everybody's favorite player to watch. Mm -hmm. He is so good. Yeah, he goes Goblin too, man. It they're sucks Goblin. that both of them couldn't win. They're like, you know, both just they're in that tier, right? I think Cola is like a little bit more solidified in terms of like being in the top 10, 15-ish area, where like Goblin is like also up there, but probably somewhere between like 10 and 20-ish. I think. It's yeah. Early, you know, yeah. like he's a little bit on the first. Latter end of it, but despite that, you like any day, like if you say Goblin versus Gluto, I'm like, Goblin could take that set. Like, yeah. I'm not like, you know, like there's no way, but in terms of like numbers and statistics and who like I expect to win the Ditto, I was like, I expect Cola to win, but not by much. And yeah. I feel like that's yeah. kind of what it was. Those games were close until they weren't. Like I said, man, for being in losers for as long as you are to win that many sets in a row mm -hmm. is really hard.